Please rise for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Sting Nation. Today is Monday, October 26, 2020, and this is Sting TV. I'm Bogdana Sumchinka, your host today. Today is National Pumpkin Day. This squash that is native to North America is packed with nutrients, makes great fall decorations, and completes a variety of tasty recipes. Celebrate the day by joining a pumpkin competition, visiting a fall festival, enjoying a batch of pumpkin bars, and using hashtag National Pumpkin Day on social media. Happy birthday to Mr. Bird and Miss Castaneda. If you see them in the halls, make sure to wish them a good one. Here's what's coming up for today. TCHS will be having a pumpkin decorating contest. Drop your pumpkin off at the library to participate. Stingerette practice will take place in room J133 from 3 to 5 p.m. In Sting Sports News, Ball High will be hosting a golf tournament at the Mooney Gardens. Wish our Varsity Gals golf team good luck as they will be playing. Join the Softball Fall League Ball Games at the Lady Stings Field as they will be taking on HCYA. JV will play at 6 p.m. and Varsity at 7.30. The weather forecast for today is partly cloudy with a high of 82 degrees and a low of 68. Today's lunch features chicken smackers with a side of mashed potatoes, celery sticks, mandarin bits, your choice of milk, and a cookie for dessert. Good morning, Stay Nation. I'm here with Ms. Altov, the City High School librarian, and we're going to talk about some new rules and policies at the library. First question, what new rules and regulations have been enacted? Well, first of all, this year the library is closed for the time being until we have a little bit more freedom to move around the building. My plan right now is that when we are able to go back to the cafeteria, then that'll be a time when students can start coming back in freely to the library. Um, right now, I actually do have classes that are meeting here instead of meeting in a regular classroom. So that's also closed the library so that they have a place to learn during class time. Um, some of the other major changes is that we have gone as virtual as we can. So we have access to some ebooks this year that we did not have last year, and we also have a hold system in place where you can put a book on hold, then it will be checked out and delivered to your classroom during the day. And so, how does the ebook system work? In order to access the ebooks, you log on to Fall at Destiny and um, you do that with your regular student login, just like you would log into the computer. So the first four letters of your first name, your last name, and then your password is your ID number. And is there a limit to how many you can put on hold and how long you can keep them? There is a limit of 10 books that can be put on hold at one time. Um, I did that because I know a lot of our students like to read manga and want to keep a whole series coming to them as quickly as possible. Um, and the holds last for two weeks. If it expires, we can always reactivate it. That's not a problem, because um, I know that that has already happened. <laughs> and then um, for standard checkout, you get two books at a time this year. It's a little bit different than last year, unless it's one of the mangas, and then those were doing four books at a time. So what are safety precautions taken when checking out and returning books? The books, once they are checked out, um, Again, you have them for two weeks. I'm not sure if I said that before. So at that period of time, which is recorded in the front of the book, um, on the due date strip, you need to return them. There is a book drop outside the library door where you can drop your books off. That's the best way to do it. We check it several times a day and at the end of the day. And so once 
the books are returned, they are then put into quarantine for three days. And after that period, they're returned to regular circulation. And finally, um, how are you feeling about the school year so far, and what do you look forward to this so far? Um, the school year has been a huge challenge for myself. Um, and even for Ms. Schmidt, we, we miss seeing you guys every single day. We have spent a lot of time getting new materials ordered and I actually about an hour ago finished processing the last of the brand new books. We have a lot of new books to share with you guys. So be on the lookout for some um, videos being uploaded also into Canvas that just kind of peruse and, and browse some of the new titles that are available for you. Thank you, Ms. Alta, for talking to us today, and make sure to go to Canvas and check out the library invite, accept it, and have a super stingery day. That's all I have for you today. Tune into Sting TV every morning during breakfast to be up to date on the latest happenings in Sting Nation. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at TCHS underscore Sting underscore TV to check out our new early morning show, The Frenzy, and get a look behind the scenes at Sting TV. Thanks for watching and have a super stingery day.